Hi there, it is Kevin from Dropbit. So what I am going to show you today is how to increase your average order value using Dropship products to enhance your print-on-demand store. So if you're on a print-on-demand store, it's going to be niche related 99.9% .9 of the time. So if that's cats, dogs, motorbikes, anything related to that, there's always going to be a product that we can source or we will have on our app that you can um, help you can use to help increase your average order value. So what I'm going to do today is just going to go through some different ways that um, we would go about um, helping increase that average order value by just using the, the dropship products and, and a couple of upsell apps. So I'll go through a few different ones and show you how to do it. And what to remember as well is with drop people, we have express shipping. So you've not got that um, 15 to 30 day wait for your products. Um, so you really have that opportunity to still keep that brand feel um, for your your store and your customers, obviously. So first thing we're going to do is we're a cat store today, just for talking sakes, we're a cat store. So if we go in, we've got our little cat t-shirt. What we need to do is then find a product that we want to upsell with our cat t-shirt. So usually you're looking for something that is not too expensive, um, something that's just going to enhance what they're buying, uh, kind of get that um, that buyer feel with where they go, oh, they're passionate about it. So let's have a wee look at our products and see what we can find today. So as you see, I'm just going to search for cat. So we'll scroll down. We've got a couple of things. So we've got the cat scratching post. Um, what else have we got? A nice mug. Fingerless gloves. Don't know why gloves are fingerless ever. But anyway. And here we have the cat couple necklace. So let's just go in and have a wee look at that and see if we like the look of this. So let's just see. Yeah, so that's nice. So if they have a partner, then that's a really, really nice or a best friend um, that likes cats as well. So that, that is a really good product. And if you look at the price on it, it's $1.92. You could put that out at $19.98. $9.99, $14.99, $19.99, whatever you want, and it's not going to cost an arm and leg for you to put out, but you can price it in a way um, your customer is going to say, hey, why not just add this to my order? That's perfect. Yeah, why not? Boom. Increasing your average order value. So here we go. We're just going to save that. Save changes. And over highlighted it so I need to go down and highlight it remember you're only highlighting the one so we'll just go up and we're going to publish that now so we'll just wait on that publishing um, one thing I'm going to say I'm going to change the price on this um, I should have done it there um, and just to show how when you're using the dropship products as an upsell option um, always price them a wee bit maybe lower than, than what your, your t-shirts are because you're looking to complement it, not to um, say offer the customer something too expensive where um, they really need to think about the decision. You want them to make that snap decision where they just go in, yep, I'll have that, boom, job done. As I says, increasing your average order value, meaning more profit. So we're just going to go into our products at the moment and find the little cat necklace. Okay. For talking sakes, we are going to put this out at $14.99, okay? In fact, let's just put it out to $12.99. So that is going to give you an average of $8 to $10 profit on that, depending on if you add a shipping to that. So that's free money if anyone adds it to your uh, to their, their order. So that's the great thing about this. So let's just go back into apps. So let's go about setting up our first upsell and seeing how we can use it to complement um, our t-shirts. First one we're going to use is the tried and tested upsell app where it's a pop-up on the cart. So first thing we want to do is we want to have the cat couple necklace. So that's what we want in the pop-up. Do we want to give them a discount? Um, yeah, let, let, why not just give them... You could have put it at $14.99 and then done a 10% discount, which is perfect. And what are we going to use for the trigger? We're obviously going to use the cat t-shirt. So when somebody lands on that, 
up comes a pop-up, boom, boom, job done. Again, you can go in here and change all your different things that you need to do. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to go in and save it. So that's it saved. So let's just open up. And we'll go to our T-shirt. And we'll just add this to cart. I'm wondering if it's going to show me. Yeah, there we go. Ah, I see what it's done now. So I have two in here, so I would need to remove one. And remove that one. And remove that. Should have emptied my cart first. So let's just go back. So on the cart one. And to cart. Uh, because it had already shown us a minute ago. So we'll show you another way to do it. So if you just pop in. Just go in and test it. So this is what it's going to look like when you go into the cart. So once you go in, um, it's going to give you the pop-up. The reason it never showed me a second time is because I've closed it down. So it doesn't think um, I want the discount. So... First time your buyer comes in, he's going to see this and they can get the option of no thanks or add to cart. So it's going to say 11.69, add it onto that, yeah. Why not add it to cart? Perfect. It's going to complement it. And there you go, you can see you've got the saving, customer sees it, always good. So that's our first one. Um, in the UK, these don't really work that well, but and I know they work elsewhere, but a lot of the time in the UK, um, these pop-up ones are not the not the best. So I'm just going to delete that out so it doesn't interfere what else we're going to do. So the next one is the one I like, and the one you've seen all the time is the one that's used by Amazon. So that one is the frequently bought together, which is really, really good, converts well, and um, as you know, anything that Amazon does and people replicate, you know, is going to work. So, first thing, just frequently bought together. There's loads of different ones you can use here. I'm just using these um, just to put on the store, just, just to show you how you, you can do it. So, what we want is manual recommendations. We don't want automatic or anything. We want to pick um, specific products because we want it to be so niche-related and we want to show them a specific thing. You don't want just random global recommendations where it could show um, on a cat T-shirt and it could show them... I don't know, a dog lead or something like that that's got no use to a cat. So you, you want to see it and you want to set it up manually. So let's just set it up. So select product. It's going to be our cat tea. Okay. Right. And then we want the recommendation. So what are we going to sell with this? It's going to be the cat couple necklace. Now you can keep, go even further into this and you can actually set up discounts and um, all lots of different things. Rename it. Um do different kind of things within the, the box that it shows up that I'll show you in a minute. But just to show you the exact way that it works, we're just going to leave it as is at the moment. So we'll just reload this. And we will just jump onto our cat t-shirt. And as you see, there you go. Frequently bought together. Boom, boom. And again, you can see that everything's together and... If you just click on it, it's going to take them right to the cart, or should do. But you can actually stop it doing that and go and then go to the checkout and they even have another upsell. But we're not going to do that at the moment. So that's that one. Um, I will just say when you're installing that one, um, if we just go back into our catalogue, um, you do need to go and do a wee bit into the to get it positioned there because when we put it in it was positioned over here so we wanted it positioned um, for this demo to be under the the add to cart and the buy it now button uh, if you're having an issue with that and installing it you can get them to install it or you can reach out to us and, and i'll do it for you not a problem and um, just another thing that we'll, we'll do we don't mind doing doing that for you at all so that's that one so let me just remove these so that we're not um, interfering with our next product. Okay, so we'll disable that. 
And then we come to what I would say is my most favourite app on Shopify. It is LimeSpot. This has got so many features, can make you so much money. It's unbelievable. And no, I don't get paid to say that because they don't do any affiliate stuff like that. We don't do that anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is just incredible. But <clears throat> what we want this to do is we want it to show on the cart page. So on the cart page, we want it to show uh, or give an offer of the, the necklace where they can add it in the cart page. So we've got it all set up in here um, already. You can just go in, but you've obviously got um, different ones that you could do, 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 all different things that you could do. So if we just come back and you'll see there's, there's just there's so much that you can do in here. It's, it's pretty incredible. But first thing we want to do is we want to go back and, and go to our product tool. So again, we want the cat, right? So just select that and we want the cross sell and upsell. So we're going to add, what are we going to add for it? Yep, you got it, this. Okay, and the good thing about this as well is you can go in and um, you can go in and do different things and change how the, the button um, uh, does different things and what it says and all that. As she says, you see down here, use auto-generated items. No, we want to use cross-sell items. So apply selected because we want, again, to show the specific item. We don't want it to go out and do it for us. So that's another thing to remember. Always have it doing that. Don't do this auto-generated. You need things to be targeted and done right. Um, so that your customers are seeing the correct product. So we'll just go in and make sure this is on. Just publish it. Okay, so it's now live. And if we go in, we'll just give it a wee refresh. And we're going to go into our cat. And then we're going to go to our cat. Yeah, I want one of them t-shirts. Give me that. There you go, see? So they're asking, do you want this? So you can go in here and change all that, all right? So that's name it whatever you want, do different things to the box to jazz it up a wee bit. So you can go in here and just add that. All right, perfect. And then check out. So these are just the three different things that I'm showing you how you can enhance your, your print on demand store just using dropship products from Drop Pipple. Um, I really hope it does help you and shows you a way that you can increase your average order value by offering something maybe of less value but still as passionate as what the t-shirt or whatever your, you guys are printing to your customers. Um, if you've got any questions, just ask away in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Okay, have a nice one guys. Thank you.